Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to slice shapes using one of Inkscape's equivalent of the knife tool in Illustrator. For those coming from Illustrator, this is one of many ways of getting the same effect like the knife tool you know. The eraser tool could be used to slice a given shape into different segments on which we can apply different effects or transformations. For more tutorials on the eraser tool, do visit the link in the description section below. Let us begin with an object here with a solid black fill and stroke. I am going here to the toolbar on the left where we have the eraser tool. Left click to select it. This tool control bar up here will come up allowing us to set up a couple of things. The mode should be set at cut out from object. Then set the width of the cut to zero. This may sound counterintuitive, but I have set it at zero so that the line of the cut is as thin as possible. If you want a bigger gap between the cuts, you can bump up this number. To have a straight line or a straight smooth cut, I am going to move up this value named mass to its maximum. The lower it is, the less straight the cut is going to be. Let us left click on the board and drag along the object where we want to make slices. When done, we release the left mouse button. If we want to see where our slices have been made, we can go to View, Display Mode, Outline. And we are going to have a sort of preview. Let us take it back to normal view by going to View, Display Mode, Normal. If we select this and move around, we are going to notice it is still one full object even though we sliced at several places. To access the individual segments, select the object and go to Path, Break Apart or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Control K. Now, using the Select and Transform tool, we can click the individual parts and move them around, or apply different effects like color to them. To make this have multiple colors and look beautiful, we are going to left click the individual segments and color them using the Inkscape color palette. I will continue choosing each segment and giving it a new color. The different colors are going to have solid boundaries. If you want an effect where the colors merge into each other, please watch my Inkscape gradient tutorials covering gradient mesh, linear gradients, and conical gradients. I have links in the description section for you. After coloring, go now and select all the segments and go to Object, Group, or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl G to have all of them as one object. This technique can be applied to different kinds of objects in Inkscape and not just text. That is one way how you can slice an object into segments and modify them in Inkscape. If you found this video useful, please like it below and subscribe for more upcoming content. And please do not forget to leave your comments and questions below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video tutorial. Bye-bye.